Hello, this is Braxwolf, and looking at the a new game that I pledged called Star Citizen. I think probably a lot of people out there have heard of it. The only thing I have access to right now is the hangar. Uh, Star Citizen is going to be a space simulator uh, slash combat slash... Sounds like there's going to be a um, kind of a mission aspect to it, too. So This is the hangar, the, the only thing I really have access to right now, like I said before. There's a couple ships in here. I believe this first one is mine because I pledged for this type of ship. It's an Origin 300i. It's got a... It's got a couple guns on it, which is kind of cool. One on the side wing there. There's a couple underneath, I believe. I think that's what those are. Let me go around to the front. And you'll be able to tell that uh, one thing I'm going to have to do when this game comes al or goes into gold is to upgrade my computer quite a bit because it's very laggy just walking around the hangar here. You can see the 300i on the side there. It's a really cool looking ship. Uh, one of the things that one of the things that they did was they put out brochures for all of the all of the ships that are available, or a couple of the ships really, probably the most popular ones, or the ones that people are most likely to buy, and they made it look like an actual glossy brochure that uh, that you might give to somebody if you were trying to sell them an actual ship, and it, they did a really nice job. The Origin 300i was one that talked about having not only you know, all of your basic capabilities. Looks like there's a gun on the front, too. But also the aesthetics to go along with it. Kind of a, kind of an Apple sales pitch, almost. Let me see if I can spin around a little bit. You get a lot of motion blur here. I think it's my graphics card, probably. And one of the things you can do is actually open up this hatch here, if I get close enough. And, oh, look, there's the ladder. Check that out. You can actually get into the ship. So here's my ship, my first ship. Looks like you go into the cargo area first here, which is pretty cool. Not real big. I don't know what this use does. Nothing. Maybe that closes the door. Or maybe, oh, I get back out of the ship. No, I don't want to get out of my ship. Let me get back into my ship. As you can see, my pilot is thoroughly confused as to what I want him to do. I don't know how to close the hatch, so I'm going to take a look at the cockpit here. There's a little bit of cargo room. This could be used for smuggling, I suppose. be kind of cool if they had, like, some, uh, some uh, secret hatches in here, like the Millennium Falcon. Get in the chair for the cockpit. And get ready to fly this bad boy. Open up a couple panels here. Get ready to roll. Now this game is supposed to have Oculus Rift support at some point. I have no idea if I'm going to have any Oculus Rift at this point. The best I can do is move, look around in the cockpit, look at the hangar from the cockpit. Yeah, it's a nice door. All right, guess I'll get out. Put all the panels back so nobody... Actually, I think that was a cup holder. I don't want anybody using my cup holder when I'm not in the ship. And now I can get back out. Perhaps. There's some ambient noises going on in the hangar, but I don't know if you can hear that or not. I, I can just jump out too. The only other thing I found that was usable in the hangar, and I might be missing some stuff because I've only been in here a couple times, was a uh, there was a panel over here that brings up a holographic image. Let's see if I can get to it. Now here's a couple interesting things that I've found you can do so far in Star Citizen is you can hold the shift key down and run a little bit, go a little bit faster. You can also hit the space bar and jump ever so slightly. That was kind of a little jump. Kind of hard to tell you're jumping, but you are. But uh, the movement is a bit slow. I think, again, a lot of that is my graphics rendering on this machine. I have a six-core machine here. I've only got a one-gig graphic card, though. 
And uh, when I built it three years ago or so, it was a pretty nice machine. It's got about 8 gig of RAM. But uh, as time has gone on, the brand new games, and of course they're building Star Citizen, I believe, with the uh, with the intention of, of pushing today's systems, because it's not going to be released right away. Uh, when it's released, they're probably banking on the fact that technology is going to be more advanced and the higher end systems of today are going to be more of a midline for tomorrow. Now this is what I was talking about. If I use this, it brings up kind of a holographic option menu, it looks like. Perhaps it's going to have... Maybe you can buy stuff from here. Ships, weapons, ammo, yeah, it looks like some some kind of a purchasing console here. Turn it off. This looks like a target practice thing, but uh, I haven't figured out. I don't think you can use the gun. I guess you can. Look at that. This is new to me. I guess I'll find out what it's supposed to do. Combat mode. Took a lot of shots to take out the cardboard guy down. Ridiculous amount of cardboard on Interesting. Cool. You can get in the gun. There you have it. Obviously this is a beta build. Probably forgot to say that at the beginning. Um, but everything right now is beta. Star Citizen, they're, they're doing modules. They just, I believe, released their air combat, I want to say, module to Alpha. I don't have Alpha access. And as you can see, walking around the hangar poses enough of a challenge that I'm not sure air combat is, space combat is actually in the cards for me right now anyway. Uh, I was planning to upgrade my system sometime this year. We'll see how that goes. Might even jump on Newegg this afternoon. This show not sponsored by Newegg, by the way. Or anyone else. I wondered if I could get in one of these ships, but it, I'm not seeing a key here. A use key. There's another origin ship. Probably a higher uh, pledge tier. Star Citizen is being crowdfunded. Uh, that's why I'm talking about tiers here. And they've they've very cleverly, I guess, coaxed you into buying different tiers or packages by uh, giving access to ever increasingly cool ships for each package. Packages go up into the $200 range even, but you can get one as low as $30 if you don't want the beta access. Um, I went with, to get the Origin ship, the Origin 300i, I went with the $65 package, I believe. And from my understanding, this is a buy-to-play game, so I don't believe they're going to make me sub once they go live. But as you can see, I left the door to my ship wide open for all kinds of stowaways and bandits, and I don't even know how to close it. But uh, I think it's a pretty cool ship. I'm really glad I went with this package. I think it'd be nice with a, a dark, dark color paint on it, like a dark red or a dark blue or something. Wondering what kind of options we're going to have when the game finally launches. So, that is the Star Citizen Hangar. Hope you enjoyed the little tour. Get out there and pledge if you want your own ship. I'll see you in space.